These workers are doing their job perfectly. No mistakes, just straight up skills. A big shove and... Nailed it. I'm pretty sure there's a golfing joke in here somewhere. Who needs a skateboard when you can shred the shovel like a construction worker Tony Hawk? Remember when your parents said not to play with your food when you were a kid? Well, how else are you going to practice your basketball skills while working at the green grocer? Turn your show shoes into cool looking sneakers with just a soldering iron and about 10 years of footwear crafting experience. Man, this guy makes it look so easy. Looks like all those hours of practice have paid off with a cheeky bottle cap challenge thrown in for good measure. How to clean a floor in 10 seconds. 10 guys, 10 squeegees, 20 socks, zero pairs of shoes. Slide on, sweeper men. When scissors just won't cut the mustard, why not use an ultra bright hot laser? Don't sneeze, you may just lose a thumb. When someone says they can carry two dozen bricks on their head with their eyes closed, maybe believe them next time. It may just be the man in the video. Booyah! Piping bags are so old school. Real artisans of the baking craft cut dough straight from the mixer. There's less washing up to do, and it's just so much more fun to watch. Tasty. When you've been stamping approvals for 40 years, you can do it so quick and easy that it becomes just like breathing. Oh yeah. No, what you're seeing isn't a time-lapse video of fast-growing mushrooms. This is the proper way to install expanding foam insulation. Make no mistake, it takes hammering in tens of thousands of railway spikes to achieve level 100 in sledgehammer swinging. Do you work in a tire shop and hate carrying things short distances? Pay attention and watch this guy for one of the best life hacks I've ever seen. Now I'm not sure what's cooler, pouring in the exact required amount of paint or the other worker following it up with his best salt bay impression. Nice. I'm gonna call this big boy's toy the carpet cannoli maker. This man's face is a mask of concentration. Ride em, cowboy. This is what knowing how to paint professionally looks like. Time to take note. <laughs> Oh, that's hot. That's hot. It seems all it takes to erase a decade of muddy footprints from your doormat is a hot dose of superheated steam and a vacuum cleaner. Nice. What sorcery is this? I have no idea how this floor paint dries so fast, but the fact that this guy's shoes are still looking so fresh is the icing on the cake. With enough practice, you can channel your inner scorpion and hit behind the back hook shots like this tricky trucker. Nice Floor staining level? Pro. Check out that bottom step, not a drop spilled. If you can spread peanut butter and jelly on a sandwich, odds are you can fill the cracks in the road with sticky tar. All the drywall installers out there know just how hard it is to get the tape to stick properly in the corners. This magnificent machine makes it a breeze. <laughs> I've just seen the high-tech solution to cutting utensils, but what about a low-tech option? A bottle of butane and a gas burner work wonders for opening up bags of grain as it turns out. Blockheads have no business doing block work. The skill of this worker is proof of that. I'm a little embarrassed here. I can't even fold my own socks, let alone do anything like this without looking. 28 socks in 15 seconds. It's hard enough to smooth off cement when it's on the ground, but it's even harder when it's dripping off a wall. Mission complete. Witness this tutorial. How to pack a stack of boxes in a truck in 10 seconds by hand. It's good to see that automation hasn't entirely taken over the manufacturing process. Roller skating waders were pretty popular once upon a time, but these days you almost never see them. Watching these guys, I can understand why it died out. It takes a lot of skill. Gone are the days where one guy used a roller to mark out road signs. Now you just need to be able to drive straight. Well, before it ends up in your shot glass, tequila starts out its life as a horrible spiky plant that grows in the middle of the desert. It's no match for a farmer with a sharp spade though. Ever wondered how those different shapes get painted onto roads? This is how. Oh, hi, Mark. Yes! If soap packing was an Olympic sport, this girl would have gold for sure. Mamma mia! First question, what manner of bird or beast laid these enormous eggs? Second question, how do I get a job painting them? This dude's taken the term learning the ropes to a whole new level. What you're seeing here is more like mastering the ropes.
You don't have to pay loads of money to have a turn on a tourist attraction. Just get a job coiling wires like these people. This person makes cleaning a muddy road look about as easy as walking the dog. Strangely satisfying to behold. Target neutralized. What's sandblasting? Well, it's to body shop workers what an eraser is to a kid with a pencil. Simultaneously wash away that stress and that horrible paint job on your car. Wait for it, this is what world record breaking chainsaw work looks like. Holy smokes, that was quick. Now let's see that again. Meet the Roomba's slightly more outdoorsy and adventurous cousin, the Pafa, prince of the pristine pavement and looking absolutely fabulous in that canary yellow jacket just quietly. This chef has mastered the noodle making technique and his accuracy is seriously impressive. Ladies and gentlemen, allow me to present the cement smoother. I never knew things like this existed, but I'm so glad they do. Time must really fly for these workers. Just like people, trees need a haircut every month or so. Short back and sides. Thanks, barber. I have no idea what this concreting contraption's called, but anything that gives a smooth, flat finish to wet cement without breaking your back is incredible in my book. Ask any chef worth their salt, they hate wasting good ingredients. I'm not sure if she's making timber feed or coffee tables, or peeling exotic fruit. Oddly satisfying to watch though. So this is how toilet paper's made, roll on up and enjoy the show! If you want your restaurant to run at this speed, you'll need to hire this woman. The only solution for cutting up gigantic logs seems to be simple, gigantic axes. Messing up a concreting job will usually cost you a few cases of beer for the construction crew. This guy has guts. One slip would have him coughing up some serious beverage money. Popcorn is for eating at the movies, not for hanging from your ceiling like a bunch of sad stalactites. As they say, a scrape a day keeps the popcorn ceiling away. The way this guy picks his fruit is very pleasing to the eye. I remember covering my school books in clear plastic, but I've never seen it done on a wet cement floor. You gotta admit, the system works. Cowboys rode horses, but gardeners choose the humble sit-on mower as their chariot. Bye, have a great time. Fresh off the competitive cup stacking circuit, this worker shows that years spent piling drinking vessels on top of each other are far from a waste. Awesome! As this tractor cleans the pavers and makes its way past the pen, keep an eye out for the cow who turns her head away in embarrassment. The Lumberjack Olympics is far from being a boring event. Pack your short stacks and maple syrup, we're cutting timber up today. Don't let the name fool you, weed whackers are more than capable of cutting tight lines on that freshly decked lawn, and here I am using an edge trimmer like yard maintenance rookies. Not a ruler or a straight edge in sight, and this worker's nailed the perfect length on their bamboo curtain. 